There are several games that I am very eagerly anticipating. Project Mugen, Unending Dawn, Duet Night Abyss, Zenless Zone Zero, Wuthering Waves, Arc Knight's Enfield. And as of the last 24 hours, we have very big news concerning at least two of them. Or three if you count Arc Knight's Enfield. One day ago, an article was posted on Gamer Braves titled Zenless Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves Get China Licensed Signaling Release Date Announcement. For those of you that are unaware, what this typically means is that within roughly a year of obtaining that license, you're required to publish your game within China. This happened with Tower of Fantasy and after scrambling to release the game, it ended up underperforming. It felt very rushed. It is the form that we received it in, which was admittedly not very good. Now, this does mean that Hoyo was in the Zone Zero and Kudo with Wuthering Waves in theory have roughly a year to push these games out, but we're going to go ahead and read on more because there might be additional information here pertaining to anything really that could alter whether they have more or less time to release it. Both Zenless Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves have just received their publishing license in China, signaling a possible release date announcement for the new titles. According to the National Press and Publication Association, the Chinese government has approved a new batch of games, a necessity if they want to release in the country. This time, a total of 87 titles were approved, ranging from all sorts of entertainment like movies and games. Among the titles receiving a license to publish in China are Wuthering Waves by Kudo Games at number 72, Zenless Zone Zero by MiHoYo at 79. While no official release date has been given, a lot of evidence points to these approvals being the last hurdle before they can be announced. Honkai Star Rail in particular were both promoted for a long time without any release date, and it wasn't until the MPAA gave them their publishing license that the game would announce that information. In Zenless Zone Zero's case, the game has had several closed betas, as well as publicly playable builds at HoYo Fest, letting fans try out the game. I actually did get to, to try this out. We were flown out by Hoyo to animate Expo 2023 in LA. Mrs. Diggs and I got to play it firsthand. We we're up there on the big television in front of everyone doing very poorly. We had people glaring at us, judging us for being so bad at the game when admittedly we had never played it before. So in our defense, like this was our first time and we were in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> We had a lot of fun with it. We also got into the beta test for Wuthering Waves, where we played it for a couple weeks and poured hundreds of hours into the game. Admittedly, we had a lot of fun in that too. There were certain areas that we both felt needed improvement, like the co-op multiplayer aspects. The world felt a little bit like there wasn't enough to actually do in the open world. It felt like they needed to populate it with more content, more monsters, NPCs, dynamic events maybe that were happening. Wuthering Waves is also in a similar position, having been at Tokyo Game Show for two years with no release date in sight. It should be noted that Tencent, one of the largest game publishers in the country, has no approved games on the list, same as it was during the last round of approvals. Oh no, Tencent has no games being released, how terrible, because they have a fantastic track record with games over the last couple years anyway. And, and that was it? That was, that was the entire thing? That was all of the information. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. That is less information than I thought. Either way, we have a rough timeline now. Now, before we cover anything else, I do want to take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this on upcoming gotcha games, on newly released gotcha games, gotcha drama every single day. You guys are absolutely incredible. Now back to the video. We can speculate that both games, Zenless Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves, are going to realistically release before the end of 2024, at least within China. But if Hoyo has shown us anything, it's that they like to release their games globally at roughly the same time. So when China gets it, we'll likely get it. Wuthering Waves, on the other hand, I know Punishing Grey Raven was released overseas first and then over here at a later date, but I believe they have the funding now, the experience, to release the game globally at the same time. I'm not saying they will, I'm just saying if they don't, they're definitely going to underperform. We need a worldwide release. We need a release that happens concurrently, simultaneously in every country around the world, so we all get to experience it together. Otherwise, there are gonna be meta builds, meta team compositions, 
everyone's going to explore the game in China. And a lot of that excitement is not going to be here and present when it arrives in North America, when it arrives in the UK, Australia. I am curious though, which games I recognize in this list. After going through it, I've made it like 40 games through. And I really don't recognize any of them, but these were all translated using the Google Translate tool. So now beyond Zenless Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves, for those of you that weren't aware, Arknight's Enfield, for the first time in years, released information. Not only did they, and I know you can hear booping from Discord. That's not me. That's not you either. You can't hear that on your end. I mean, you can't hear it on your end, but it's not on your end. That's from Mrs. Stix's computer. There was a trailer release, two trailers released, a cinematic trailer or kind of a cinematic trailer and then full gameplay. We got to see the world. We got to see gameplay, combat, construction and building, characters, scenes, traversal of the environment so much. We also got to see that we have a confirmed gender, male, female, no androgynous looking character. They're referred to as the end administrator, but the biggest news here is that they are holding a beta test on the 10th of November. China is going to be receiving a technical test for PC and mobile. Arknight's Enfield is now confirmed to be coming on PC as well. Here are the specs for it. Honestly, they don't seem egregiously high. Actually pretty moderate. 40 gigabytes in storage space. This is going to be a very large game, but only an RTX 2060 Super or the GTX 10. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be that taxing on your computer. But not only do we have Zenless Zone Zero, and Wuthering Waves, all but speculatively confirmed for 2024. But Arknight's Enfield is holding a beta test in a week and a half, which means it's not too far off releasing either. So out of all those games that we're anticipating, Zenless, Wuthering Waves, and Arknight's Enfield are all closing in on a release date. In the next year, maybe two, we're going to have three incredible large open RPGs to play that could, and I, I'm going to say it, compete with Genshin Impact for its demographic of players. And that's great news because Genshin could use some competition. Every game could. Now, if these games are not at all interesting to you, then absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be a more 